Welcome to day one of May the Joy Be With You. This is the Small Business Huddles offering for the month of May. 31 businesses with 31 offerings over 31 days of May. I've gathered these people together to bring joy to our communities, um, bring some fun and connection between us all. I'd really love you to take part. Follow the hashtag May the Joy Be With You and Small Business Huddle and every day a new offer will come into your feed on Instagram. These businesses are very enthusiastic, very supportive, very generous and very much looking forward to engaging with you all. So do join us. If you are a small business yourself and would like to be a part of this business community, you can join us any Thursday. We gather online on Zoom for a huddle and check in with each other, support each other every single week. And you're very welcome. It's free. There's no obligation. And it's a joy to meet new small businesses, independent businesses, and have that connection, collaboration, and joy for, between us all. Today is my day. It's my day out of the 31 days of May. And today I have created for you a taster for Ho'oponopono, which is an ancient Hawaiian healing technique. I wish you much joy. Take some time right now to give yourself a bit of space, a bit of gentleness, compassion, unconditional love. The gift is yours. Hello, I'm Shannon from Mockingbird Makes and today I would like to lead you through an introduction to Ho'oponopono. This is an ancient Hawaiian forgiveness technique. And before we even start, I'd like to take a moment to thank the ancestors who kept this practice alive through all the trials and tribulations that they ever had to face so that we can practice it here now. Coming to a place of stillness, bringing your attention in to your body. Taking your energy deep into the ground to feel grounded. Gathering all of your energy back from wherever it has been. All of your pieces coming back to you. For centered, cleansed, full energy. Welcoming all of your energy back to you. Feeling yourself here. Re reaching your energy down deep into the earth for grounding. Drawing that grounded energy up into your body. Feeling grounded. Feeling centred. Noticing our breath. We're going to practice a few rounds of breath work. A four part breath. And we will, let me show you, we will go like this. We will breathe in. We will hold. We will breathe out. We will hold. Breathing in. <laughs> Three. Four, hold, two, three, four, out, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, and repeat. In, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, out, two, three, four, hold. Two, three, four. Breathing in to fill all of your energy. <sighs> Breathing out to let go. Breathing in all of your energy. Breathing out to let go. 
grounded, centered, mindful, aware, here, present, now. Allowing your breath to settle into its own pattern. Allowing yourself to be here now. Hawaiian technique called Ho'oponopono is based on four phrases. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I love you and thank you. I'm sorry is taking responsibility. Please forgive me, asking for an easing of the tension in the situation. I love you, feeling unconditional love and thank you. The acknowledgement of the forgiveness being received. You might want to know who we are speaking to. As we start this introduction, you don't even need to ask yourself that question. Whoever comes to mind, including yourself. I love you, I'm sorry, please forgive me, thank you. I'm sorry, I love you, thank you, please forgive me. The order is not important. Let us take a moment to recite these phrases to ourselves for whoever, including ourselves, needs to hear them. Bringing our grounded, centered, full energy and intention to these words. Responsible, humble, open, welcoming. I'm sorry, please forgive me, I love you, thank you. I'm sorry, please forgive me, I love you, thank you. I'm sorry, please forgive me, I love you. Thank you. Coming back to the body. Coming back into the body. Our body is always present. Take a moment to notice where the idea of forgiveness lands. How does that feel to you? Is there a yearning for it? Is there a resistance to it? Are there both things at the same time? Just if you can find a place in your body where those feelings live. Notice the resistance, notice the yearning. Notice whatever it is you are feeling. You can't do this wrong. There is no way to get this right. We are experiencing and experimenting. Feeling it in your body. Where do I feel this? I love you, I'm sorry, please forgive me, thank you. Is there a holding on? Is there an easing? Is there a tightness, a gentleness? <sighs> Allowing that to be now and bringing awareness to that place and a loving kindness 
a loving kindness, a self-compassion, deep compassion, incredible love to the resistance, the yearning, the softness, the stiffness, the tightness, the openness. Sending love and acceptance wherever that is in your body. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. Mm. Allowing whatever is here to be here. Grounded, centered, with our bodies. Allowing whatever is here to be here. In a moment, I'm going to invite you to open your eyes, but not quite yet. Taking a moment to come back into your body, wiggle your toes or your fingers. Acknowledge that you're back in your body here and now in a safe space. Nowhere to rush off to, nothing else to do right now, staying here. Noticing and allowing the experiences that you've had to settle, move, process in your body. Going back to your breath. And when you're ready, gently and slowly opening your eyes. Take a moment to have a look around your room or the space that you are in to orientate yourself to where you are. <sighs> Knowing that you are safe. Looking right over each shoulder as far as you can. Allowing yourself to come back into your body. Take a moment to thank yourself for this practice. And I'd like to take a moment to take a breath for us here right now. I take a breath for me. I take a breath for you. And I take a breath for the ancestors who have allowed us to have this practice in our lives right now despite the cost to their lives, their livelihood, their hearts, their souls, minds. Thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. Come back to these words whenever you feel stuck, whenever you feel something needs clearing. They are with you for always to use however